You are doing the mapping because you want to start an irrigation scheme. You are doing the mapping because you want to start growing avocados. You, want to, you are drawing a map because you want to know how erodible are your soils. Because these characteristics will tell you how susceptible to erosion the, the, the soils are. So you use that information to draw what we call suitability maps. So you know a crop like uh, tomato or maize or avocado, they have requirements. Now, are these soils, are these units meeting those requirements? If this unit is meeting those requirements, you say that unit is highly suitable for that specific use you want to use it for. If it is meeting some of the requirements, you say it is moderately suitable. If it is, and if, if it is not meeting all the, any requirements by that crop, for example, avocados do not like saline soils, for example. So if your soils were saline, and saline means, if the soils were saline, uh, saline means the electrical conductivity was very high. Sodic soils means the sodium uh, concentration is very high. Sodium is an element in the soil that is very undesirable. Sodium. So if your soils are sodic, you have a big problem. You have to know what do you do with this sodium. But all is not lost because there are mechanisms of amending the soil. For the farmers, it means that now with the scientists that do the soil testing, we can do many more samples. You'll be able to actually meet the needs of a wider clientele in Kenya. And therefore, many of the farmers will be able to access the soil testing services that we offer. Being a potato farmer, you can't do without soil testing because the potato business starts right from the soil. So if you don't know your soil, your soil you don't know any, you won't get anything from the, your, your farm. You just be frustrated. But after doing the soil testing, you know the right fertilizers to use, okay, and the right amount, maybe the, you know the nutrients which are in your, in your soil. So it's very, very, very important, and I would tell other farmers to do the soil testing.